Do you want to avoid injuries and maximize your performance in the gym? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints and prepare your body for a workout so you can prevent injuries and enhance performance during your workout. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilates.com located in San Diego, California. Here on YouTube, I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility. So let's get started. In this video, I will share some of my favorite warm-up and stretching exercises with you um, that you should be doing before every single workout. I will highlight some of the most common mistakes that you could make and in the end of the video, so be sure to stay with me until the very end, I will tell you more about my on-demand online stretching and mobility home routine. Um, the first exercise I want to show you is uh, called hip priming. Very important exercise before a uh, gym workout or any kind of athletic workout because the hips uh, plays such an essential role in our workout, so they better be ready. Uh, drop your hip forward, open up the front, squeezing the back of the hip. Then flex your hips, push back your butt. And let's just repeat this back and forth. Before a workout, instead of holding a static stretch, you're much better off gently moving your body, just moving the joints through full range of motion. And then rotate your upper body and flex your hips and just hinge forward. And this will increase your hip mobility going into internal rotation, which is really important before you get exercising. Let's do this one last time. We're going to switch the legs. So now put your right foot forward. Drop your left hip forward into a hip flexor stretch. We're not gonna hold it long, you just wanna push the right hip back and elongate your hamstrings. And then the left hip goes forward again and the right hip pushes back. So we are basically alternating here between a hip flexor and a hip extensor stretch. Now let's add that upper body rotation when you hinge forward, that will increase your uh, internal hip rotation and also your spine mobility, super important before you get to the gym. And let's do this one more time. Now we're gonna open up the <coughs> adductors a little bit, put your right leg up to the side, hinge your upper body forward. Be sure to keep your spine nice and straight. You probably feel a nice intense stretch in your adductors, in your inner thigh muscles. And those muscles, when they are tight, they can greatly limit your ability to squat, to lunge. Very important to open them up and then toe out your foot and just shift your weight towards that leg. Another great example of how your exercise routine could suffer if you have tight hip muscles, if you're trying to deadlift. Um, if you're tight in these areas or you're trying to do a kettlebell swing, if you're tight in the groin, you will be limited. So be sure to stretch them out, move them a little bit, open them up. Let's repeat this rock a couple more times. And then turn your toes that way, bring your heel a little bit towards your body and shift your weight that way. Also feel that your lower leg comes towards the top of your foot as if you wanted to pinch your fingers here in the, in the ankle. Very important to increase your ankle mobility for weightlifting, for squatting, for box jumps, for lunges, whatever you're going to do today in the gym. Um, shoulder mobility. Uh, let's get those shoulders moving. First of all, make sure that you straighten your thoracic spine. If you are hunched, your shoulder mobility will be limited. So just straighten out, interlace your fingers, circle your arms over your head, get your shoulders lubricated, get your shoulder blades moving, allow your collarbones to rise up, 
does make up your shoulder joint, collarbone, shoulder blade, and the humerus, the arm bone. Let's go the other way. And let's do a couple more circles, getting good lubrication, good mobility in the shoulders for overhead gym exercises. Next one is the shin box. Um, mobilizing, lubricating the hip joint. You want to sit down with your legs in a 90-90 angle. Um, then switching the legs, we're going to go over to the other side. This is not an easy exercise. You could tell I struggled a little bit too. Um, we're going to flip those knees and we'll take them over to the other side. If you need to use your hands, feel free to do that. Uh, make it a little bit easier, but then as you get better at it, try and do it without hands. I'm just moving a little bit because I'm scooting off of this bench here. Let's do this just once more on each side. Try and keep your heels connected to your yoga mat or to the floor and just switch the knees that will very nicely lubricate your hip joints going into internal, external rotation. Um, there's no warm up without a spine twist, so let's do that too. Lay down on your back, raise your knees into tabletop position and your arms out to the side and just drop the knees to the side as you look in the opposite direction. And of course repeat it on the other side as well. So the knees drop and you look away from your knees. And let's do this just once more on each side. And the last. Try and keep both of your shoulder blades down on your yoga mat and that will increase your um, ability to rotate. Um, one more exercise. Flexible hamstrings are super important because if they are tight, they can pull on your lower back and on your pelvis. So sit with your legs extended, curl up your toes towards your shins, open your arms, rotate your ribcage, and bring your pinky finger towards your pinky toe. Just like that. And then come back up. Let's repeat this on the second side. Hinging forward, reaching the pinky finger towards the pinky toe. This is also a really good core warm up as your abdominals have to stack you back up to a seated position. Oh, let's do this just one more time on each side. And by now you should be ready for your gym workout. If you like these warm up exercises, this is a great time to give my video a thumb up, a like on YouTube. Also feel free to include in the comment section what you would like to see next. Um, if you like the exercises and you would like to have a complete stretching and mobility routine that you can do anytime uh, in the comfort of your own home, visit my website www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and click on the shop tab. You will find the number of on-demand programs. Choose the stretching and mobility home program, which has more than 40 uh, stretching, mobility and corrective exercises, and they will stretch you out head to toe. If you would like to work with me because you feel like you need more personalized guidance, you can schedule a free 15 minute phone consultation with me through my website so we can get things going. And last, um, make sure that you stay for the next video. It's about to start playing in a few seconds. Um, for more great video tips of how to eliminate chronic pain in the body and increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, go back to my homepage and uh, check out my playlist.